next lesson, we're going to take a look at what happens when you start with a positive number and add a negative number to it. We've talked about this before, but when you add a negative number, you're just subtracting that number, okay? Um, again, the concept of adding debt makes the most sense for this. Uh, if you have, let's say, um, $5, okay, we'll just use this example, and you add $3 of debt, in other words, you add $3 that you owe someone, well, you're subtracting $3 from the $5 that's in your wallet or in your pocketbook or whatever. Um, so when you add debt, you're subtracting money, and therefore you end up with $2. Um, always remember that when you're adding a negative number, it's you're taking money away. Okay, so it just becomes a negative. But, like we talked about before, always draw the number line out, okay? We're starting at 5, okay, or $5, and when we add a negative, we're moving to the left because we're subtracting that number. We're ending up at 2. Now, unfortunately, with this particular lesson, um, it might not always be a positive number, okay? For example, had we started at $1, and owed somebody three, we would have ended up with negative two dollars. We would have been two dollars in debt. And so the key is whether or not this number is bigger than that number. Okay, if this number is bigger, for example, five is bigger than three, then your answer will be positive. But if this answer if this number is smaller than that number, say it was one minus three, your answer will be negative. Of course, if they are the same, the answer is going to be zero. For example, if you had three dollars and someone and you owed three dollars to someone, you'd pay them the three dollars and you end up with zero dollars. However, the gist of this lesson stays the same. When adding a negative number, okay, just subtract that number. That's it, okay? If, uh, when you're adding a negative, it just becomes subtracting the number. It's a simple rule, and again, it goes back to the number line, and it goes back to the concept of debt or adding debt to yourself. You're subtracting money away from your pocketbook or wallet or whatever, however you carry money. When adding a negative integer, just subtract it, okay? So the, the rule is A plus negative B is A minus B. For example, 5 plus negative 9 is 5 minus 9. 6 plus negative 7 is 6 minus 7. Whatever. Let's take a look at some examples. Um, let's say we have, let's go ahead and do that one, 6 plus negative 7. Okay, again, because it's adding a negative, we can change that to just a subtraction problem. All right, so now we're going to have 6 minus 7. Now, again, if you're not comfortable with adding and subtracting or if you forget the rules, you can always draw the number line, and that's what I'm going to do for this. I'm going to demonstrate what you should do if ever in doubt. Here's zero. Here's six. All right, I already know what the answer is, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a notch there. So six, if we're taking away seven, we're moving seven to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's the number just to the left of zero? It's negative one, right? So therefore, 6 minus 7 is equal to negative, well, actually we'll use red because that's what we had down there. The answer is negative 1. Again, if you're taking a smaller number and subtracting a bigger, the answer is going to be negative. So there's our first example. When you add a negative, you just end up subtracting it. All right, let's say we have 100 minus, or sorry, plus negative 14. Again, the rule is since you're adding a negative number, this just becomes a negative. So it ends up becoming 100 minus 14. And again, if you're not comfortable with uh, subtraction, another thing you can do is, you know, you can do the long form of subtraction. Or if you know what the answer is, you know, it's 86. But if you already know it's 86, you can write 86. But... So 0 minus 4, so what's the trick here? Well, I can't do 0 minus 4, so I have to borrow 1 from here. But guess what? There's no nothing to borrow from. This is a 0, so I have to borrow from here. So this becomes a 0, 
right? And then so that makes that a 10. Okay, so now we can borrow one from the 10. That's going to become a 9, and this will become 10. So this becomes a 6, and this becomes 9 minus 1. So we have a 9 right here, minus 1, which is 8. And there's our answer, 86, because the third number is 0. So, if again, if you start with a bigger number and subtract a smaller one, whoops, if you, if you start with a bigger number and subtract a smaller one, uh, the answer is still going to be positive, right? Um, so there it is, 86. And again, the gist of this lesson is simple. If you're adding a negative number, all you have to do, move up to the top here, if you're adding a negative number, all you have to do is just subtract it. Plus minus becomes minus. All right, I think I'm just going to do one more. This is a positive uh, integer plus a negative. Uh, we will do 5 plus negative 15. So again, by now you should see that that's just going to become negative. It's plus minus, so it becomes 5 minus 15. All right, so we have 5 minus 15. And again, if you're unsure, draw the number line. Now we might not do every single tick on this one. But here's 5, and we're subtracting 15. So not only are we subtracting 5, but we're subtracting 10 more than that. Subtract 5, subtract 10 is the same as subtracting 15. The answer is going to be negative 10. And again, if you start with a small number and you subtract a bigger one, your answer is going to be negative. So for, the example, so for this example, the answer is negative 15. Again, the gist of this lesson is if you're adding a negative number, you might as well just subtract it. That's the easiest way to add a negative number. And if you have any other questions about starting with a positive number and adding a negative one, let me know.